Quarter 4, Module 2 What to do before, during, and after volcanic eruption Learning is fun with K-12 lessons Don't forget to subscribe! Philippines is located in an area known as the Pacific Ring of Fire, or Circum-Pacific Belt. This area is home to almost 75% of the world's active volcanoes, where tectonic plates and faults are also found. It is where volcanic eruptions are frequently experienced. The volcano is a mountain or hill with a vent extending from the top down to the Earth's interior. It expels magma by rumbling under the ground. The volcano can either be active or inactive. Active volcanoes are those that have erupted within 600 years while inactive are those that have not erupted more than 600 years. A volcanic eruption is the sudden occurrence of a violent discharge of steam and volcanic material. In Philippine history, the 1991 eruption of Mount Pinatubo was a significant volcanic eruption in the Luzon volcanic arc. It was the world's largest volcanic eruption to happen in the past 100 years. The famous Kogsawa Church was buried by the eruption of Mount Mayan in 1814. When there is a volcanic eruption, many affected because it can destroy our properties and can affect our health as well as our environment. It is, therefore, important to know what to do before, during and after volcanic eruptions. Volcanic eruptions, to some extent, may be predicted. Some signs like frequent tremors near the volcano with rumbling sounds, swelling of the ground, and increase in temperature of surface water, are used to predict a possible eruption. When volcanic eruptions occur, we are all affected but we can reduce the risk brought about by volcanic eruptions. Here are some activities to do before, during, and after an eruption. Before the eruption. Get ready for emergency kits or go bag. Prepare hard hats and masks for ashes and falling debris. Prepare all the necessary things to bring once an evacuation is needed. Strengthen roofs and walls to withstand loading and projectile impacts. Be aware of the evacuation plans and location of the centers in your community. Keep updated on the unusual volcanic activity through TV, newspaper, or radio. During the eruption. Avoid low-lying places. Seek cover in case ash and rock falls. Keep all doors closed when there is a heavy accumulation of ash. Wear protective clothing, headgear, and high-efficiency dust masks. Be alert for advisories for possible re-evacuation to safer evacuation sites. After the eruption. Use masks while cleaning ash and other debris. Adults may check on the livability and safety of the areas affected before going back home. Stay in the evacuation center until further instructions. Participate in community efforts such as cleaning, maintaining peace and order within the evacuation center. Identify the following safety precautions before, during, and after a volcanic eruption. Write B for before, D for during, and A for after. Be aware of the unusual volcanic activity.
Check drinking water and electrical wires at home. Cover your nose with a wet cloth to prevent inhaling ashes. Protect yourself from ash falls. Prepare emergency materials like flashlights, food, and water. Wait for instructions to return home. If caught in a rock fall, roll into a ball to protect your head. Follow instructions from authorities. Avoid low-lying places. Close all doors and windows to avoid ashes from getting inside. Answer the following questions carefully. Which precautionary measures should be done after a volcanic eruption? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Three and four. D. One and four. Which of the following activities should we do before volcanic eruptions occur? A. Avoid contact with the ash. B. Wear goggles to protect your eyes. C. Keep important documents in a safe place. D. Cover your nose with a wet and clean cloth. Which of the following activities should we not do during a volcanic eruption? A. Avoid low-lying areas. B. Stay outside the house. C. Cover your head for protection. D. Wear long sleeve shirts and long pants. Which is not a safety precaution during volcanic eruptions? A. Get on the rooftop to remove ash. B. Avoid crossing bridges and rivers. C. Follow evacuation orders from authorities. D. If outside, protect yourself from falling ash. What will you do after a volcanic eruption? A. Bring first aid kit. B. Make a family disaster plan. C. Store enough food and drinking water. D. Make the necessary repairs and clean your roof. Which of the following statements show what to do before volcanic eruptions? A. Check and repair any damages. B. Prepare masks or cloth to cover your nose or mouth. C. Always stay indoors until authorities say it is safe to go outside. D. Use mask to cover your mouth or nose to avoid breathing in ashes. Which precautionary measures should be done after a volcanic eruption? A. Always stay indoors. B. Do not drive in heavy ashfall. C. Cover your nose and mouth with a clean wet cloth. D. Make sure that your house is still safe for all of you. In case you are inside your house, what will you do during a volcanic eruption? A. Do not use masks. B. Prepare an emergency plan. C. Leave your doors and windows open. 
D. Wear a mask and close all windows and doors. Which of the following activities should you not do before volcanic eruption? A. Have an emergency plan. B. Prepare necessary things like first aid kit and foods. C. Stay in the evacuation center until further instructions. D. Prepare masks or anything to cover your nose and mouth. Which is not a safety precaution during volcanic eruption? A. Do not drive in heavy ash falls. B. Open your doors and windows. C. Use masks while cleaning ash and other volcanic materials. D. Always stay indoors until authorities say it is safe to go outside. Oi!